What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, where I share with you some amazing facts about science, history, and everything in between. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most iconic events in human history, the moon landing. You probably know that Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first humans to walk on the moon, but did you know that there are many other fascinating facts about this incredible achievement? In this video, I'm going to reveal to you 10 unknown facts about the moon landing that will blow your mind. Let's get started. The first spacecraft to reach the moon was a Soviet craft. Before the Americans landed on the moon, the Soviets were the first to send a spacecraft to orbit and impact the lunar surface. The Luna 1 was launched in 1959 and became the first man-made object to escape Earth's gravity and fly past the moon. The Luna 2 was the first spacecraft to crash land on the moon later that year. The Luna 3 was the first to take pictures of the far side of the moon in 1959 as well. The Sun and the Moon only appear to be the same size. One of the reasons why we can see total solar eclipses is because the Sun and the Moon appear to be roughly the same size in the sky. However, this is just a coincidence. The Sun is actually about 400 times larger than the Moon, but it is also about 400 times farther away from Earth. This makes them look like they have the same angular diameter. However, this will not last forever, as the Moon is slowly drifting away from Earth at a rate of about 3.8 centimeters per year. The landing was watched on television by an estimated 600 million people. The Apollo 11 mission was broadcast live on television around the world, and it is estimated that about 600 million people watched as Neil Armstrong took his first step on the moon on July 20th, 1969. That was about one-fifth of the world's population at that time. The broadcast was made possible by a network of tracking stations and satellites that relayed the signals from the moon to Earth. The astronauts landed with only 25 seconds of fuel to spare. The landing of Apollo 11 was not as smooth as planned. The lunar module, named Eagle, had to avoid a large crater and some boulders in its original landing site and had to fly further to find a safe spot. This caused the Eagle to consume more fuel than expected, and left it with only 25 seconds of fuel before it would have aborted the landing. Luckily, Armstrong managed to land the Eagle safely with just seconds to spare. After returning to Earth, the astronauts had to be placed into quarantine. The Apollo 11 astronauts were not sure if they had brought back any harmful lunar microbes or dust with them, so they had to be placed into quarantine for 21 days after returning to Earth. They stayed in a specially designed trailer that was transported from their splashdown site in the Pacific Ocean to a laboratory in Houston. They were also given biological isolation garments to wear whenever they had to leave the trailer. Armstrong and Aldrin spent almost a full day on the moon's surface. The Apollo 11 mission lasted for about eight days, from July 16 to July 24, 1969. However, Armstrong and Aldrin only spent about 21 hours and 36 minutes on the lunar surface. They landed on July 20 at 2017 Universal Time Coordinated and lifted off on July 21st at 1754 Universal Time Coordinated. During their stay, they performed a single extravehicular activity, EVA, or moonwalk, that lasted for about 2 hours and 31 minutes. They also collected about 21.5 kilograms of lunar rocks and soil samples. 
President Nixon was anxious the mission could fail. President Kennedy's dream of landing a man on the moon was cut short by his assassination, leaving the task to President Richard Nixon, elected in 1968. Nixon watched nervously as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin ventured onto the lunar surface, fearing the consequences of failure, public outrage and wasted billions in tax dollars. Prepared for the worst, Nixon's team drafted a statement and arranged for a priest to solemnly commit their souls to the deep, akin to a sea burial. As he observed Apollo 11 from the moon, Nixon prayed he wouldn't have to read that statement. Fortunately, he never did, as the astronauts survived, and the U.S. completed six missions landing 12 astronauts on the moon from 1969 to 1972. There are rules for how the moon's craters are named. The moon has thousands of craters on its surface, some of which are visible from Earth with a telescope. These craters are named after various figures from history, science, art, and culture. However, there are some rules for how these names are chosen. For example, craters on the near side of the moon are named after deceased scientists, scholars, artists, and explorers. Craters on the far side of the moon are named after deceased astronauts and cosmonauts. Craters that have a diameter of less than 10 kilometers are named after the nearest larger crater, followed by a letter. Astronauts train for microgravity by walking sideways. One of the challenges of walking on the moon is that it has only about one-sixth of Earth's gravity. This means that astronauts have to adjust their movements and balance to avoid bouncing too high or falling over. To prepare for this, astronauts trained in a special device called the Lunar Gravity Simulator, or LOLA. This device consisted of a treadmill mounted on a wall with a harness attached to the astronaut's waist. The harness pulled the astronaut sideways, simulating the reduced gravity on the moon. This way, astronauts could practice walking, running, and jumping on the lunar surface. Moon Dirt Smells The moon is covered with a layer of fine dust called regolith, which is formed by meteorite impacts and solar wind erosion. This dust is very abrasive and sticky, and it can cling to spacesuits and equipment. When Armstrong and Aldrin returned to the lunar module after their moonwalk, they noticed that the dust had a peculiar smell. They described it as wet ashes in a fireplace or spent gunpowder. The smell was probably caused by the exposure of the dust to oxygen and moisture in the cabin air. However, the smell faded quickly as the dust oxidized. And that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new and interesting about the moon landing. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome facts. Also, let me know in the comments what other topics you want me to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.